morning and welcome to Halifax West High School. My name is Gary Walker, I am the school principal here and very, very pleased to have this event take place at Halifax West. You know, we're here today uh, to talk a bit about some of the options that you have as you continue to make key decisions on where you go with your life. Information technology is one of those options that you have as students. I'm, uh, there are wonderful opportunities out there in the business world and so in education what we're looking to do is to make sure that you have the skills you need so you are ready to enter into some of those other programs. You should all feel privileged because you have a very unique program here, a very unique ability to learn some of the skills that I'm in a second here I'm going to tell you are going to permeate pretty much any job that you take. All of those careers at some point are going to touch technology. Go outside our school, not too far away, there's some businesses that are setting up here in Nova Scotia and they want us to stay and they want you to stay. All the people in the colored shirts, they're our future. We have a large number of IT professionals here with us today as well and they're the people that are leading the field. We're looking to them for leadership. Um, IT means to me pretty much anything involving computers, information, graphic design. I'm not sure if it's a well-known topic. A lot of people I know are just striving to become other things, doctors, lawyers, whatever. I'm very excited. I want to see what's going on. I'm really looking forward to finding out what's going to happen today. This should be a good opportunity to see what the the big CEOs from all the companies are looking for. Well, increasingly, the world is driven by technology. Uh, information technology is a part of just about every industry, uh, every facet of life, uh, from home life right through to uh, it's really the backbone of most corporate life. You know, Fortune magazine said eight of the ten uh, top jobs in the world will be IT related in the next 10 to 15 years. When you take a look at what our strengths are in Nova Scotia, we realize that we've got a tremendous opportunity in this province over the next 10 to 20 years. But what's facing uh, uh, jurisdictions around the world, and particularly North America, is uh, there are jobs, but are the people there? And, and it's really about matching skill sets with opportunities. And ITAC looked at it and said, hey, we want to help out. What is ITAC? The Information Technology Association of Canada. It's really a coming together of uh, senior persons from the industry uh, to deploy technology in creative ways uh, to advance business and advance society. These are the, uh, some of the key CEOs in technology around the country. We approached them and made the suggestion, why don't you bring your team to Nova Scotia? And they came here for a couple of reasons. One, they believe that a lot is happening in Nova Scotia in IT. And two, they were really intrigued by the school program. Halifax West is a very large school, it's almost 1,600 students, very diverse population, uh, multicultural population. Uh, it's a very dynamic school, it's quite different than it was many years ago. It's much larger now, of course, we're in a new high-tech facility. We have tried in our schools to uh, provide opportunities for technology-related courses. We have 27 courses all together across the province in various schools that are directly related to technology. The next thing I think we need to work on is have the students understand the wide variety of opportunities that there are. We can only expose them to so much in a, in a public school. So eight months ago, uh, we're at NSBI realizing that, hey, uh, We've got a lot of jobs coming here in the next three or four years in IT. We need to get the message into the kids, into the high schools, that these are really important skills. Otherwise, uh, 2010, 2011, we'll find ourselves with a young workforce unable to compete in the global market. Um, there hasn't really been anything like this at our school that I really know of. It's all about where will I take We heard it was going on. They told us that next week there'd be a big meeting going on, there'd be a lot of important people. If you're a symbol of all the students across Canada in grade 12 that are graduating and taking that next step into the world. So what Nova Scotia is trying to do here for you is give you a chance to see what's out there. They don't want people leaving Nova Scotia, they want them to stay here, get their education and continue to work here in the IT field. So this is a huge responsibility and we wanted to 
have students be able to kind of show off their school a little bit and talk to these people first thing in the morning. So you have the bios of the people that are in your group, but you'll actually be able to go online and read more information about them and kind of check out what who the other people are as well. About the grouping, obviously the ITAC members are in groups of students, they won't be going on. They have been excellent. I have become best friends with a couple of the people here and they definitely know my number when it comes up on their phone, but they have been perfect. They have given me more than I could have expected as far as getting us in here and they were so excited to have all this happen at their school. I heard it's going to be a big day, there's going to be lots of people here, we're going to be divided up into our teams according to our bracelets that we were given. Our tech people are coming right now, so beat them. they're all going to have their wristbands on already and name tags on, so you should be able to hopefully pretty easily pick out who you're supposed to pick. Major CEOs from companies are going to come down and give us a presentation. There's going to be a lot of people, a lot of big ideas going around. 